Okay, today I'd like to demonstrate controlling an LED using a Raspberry Pi uh, all wirelessly. As a matter of fact, the only wire I have here is this power wire uh, coming from the battery that goes into the Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, GPIO pins are connected by this ribbon cable to this breadboard with a breakout uh, header here and a very simple circuit uh, uh, as shown by the LED. The schematic for the circuit is this one here, basically taking the 3.3 volts out of the Raspberry Pi, uh, going through an LED which is controlled by a transistor to boost up the current. And that has a 2.2K, it's actually a 3K in my circuit, uh, that's controlled by a GPIO pin, uh, GPIO number four. And then the current returns back to ground. Um, I'm using a 2N3904 rather than this guy, so the pins are actually swapped. I have emitter base collector. Um, what I do here is I SSH into the Raspberry Pi 2, and then uh, using this Chromebook, the Chromebook and the Raspberry Pi 2 are on the same network, Wi-Fi network. This is the Wi-Fi adapter for the Raspberry Pi 2. The Chromebook has a built-in Wi-Fi adapter. So I SSH into the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, and then I change directory uh, to the sys uh, 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 file system class directory uh, GPIO directory. And then when I look in there, there are these items, export GPIO chip zero and unexport. If you send the number four into export, which corresponds to GPIO four, uh, then you do a LS, you'll see GPIO four come up. It's actually a directory. You change into that directory and look what's inside. You'll see uh, a number of parameters. We're interested in the direction and the value. So first we have to set the direction to be output because it could be either input or output. So we want it to be output. And then we send a one to value, which turns the LED on. If we want to turn the LED off, we simply send a zero, like so. And then when I press enter, the LED comes off. When I want to turn it back on, I send a one into value and the LED comes on, and vice versa. So the main point is that the, the Chromebook controls an LED through the Raspberry Pi 2 all wirelessly. It's all done over Wi-Fi, and I'm SSHing into the uh, Raspberry Pi 2 through the, through the Chromebook. Thank you. Bye-bye.